Hello, Brother Monroe here. As promised, back once more with these Russian battle cruisers, the Kronstadt class, 28.8 knots, so they're not the fastest in the world. Um, eight 14 inch guns, not too bad. They're 176 million, so they're more than the Quongo that we have in here, Haruna. And oh my word, that's a lot of top. A lot of torpedoes. We've seen these before. They're relatively easy to take down. So I'm kind of hoping we'll be okay. And then we've got two other fights. Uh, if you're wondering how the ones against the Chinese went, um, oh wow, we can open up on the transports immediately. That's mildly hilarious. Um... The one where I was defending a convoy, the enemy took one look, ran off, and I chased them down and was able to sink them, because they actually started quite close to the convoy. In uh, the other one, which is the other way around, uh, they abandoned their convoy, and I was able to sink it and end the battle without being shot at. So... Yeah, not, not the world's most interesting battles, I will confess. Uh, I'm going to use Haruna to continue to pick off the transports for a bit. Transports seem to be attacking, which I kind of like the uh, aggressiveness of that. That is hilarious. Um, <laughs> not sure that's the best plan those transports have ever had. Gotcha. Yeah, don't. Don't worry about the uh, battleship now. Oh, Meiji took a hit. Hmm, from the 14 inch guns. It's less than ideal. Should do it. Oh, destroy torpedo. Lovely. Right. We're going to have to uh, target the battleship now, I think. Or the, the warships now. They're getting just too close for comfort. Oh, Meiji. Jesus. We'll say uh, the update to. Um, Guns and pen, definitely double-edged sword. Those Meiji cruisers definitely not designed to withstand 14-inch firepower. However, I can blast away those heavy cruisers. Should be able to take the pressure off. One. Another one won't be far behind. Oh, they did launch though. Well, that's an arse and no mistake. Um, actually, no, go the other way. You can go that way. Where ship? Ends the torpedo threat. Just need to actually not hit the damn things. 
hoping that hard turn will do the trick. Where even are they? Hard to see the buggers. There's one. Uh, go straight at this point then. I don't want to drift back into it. See anything? Ashigari, you're getting way too close. No, we lost the Meiji? Damn. First heavy cruiser loss, I think. Ashigara did fire her torps, though. Oh, lovely. But dice? Really? She was fine. What? She just burnt out? Weird. Uh, it's not the first time I've seen this. Sometimes you just get unlucky with that. Wow, losing two heavy cruisers. Might have to look at a new heavy cruiser class in that case. Well, it's nice to see this update. It's definitely made the AI a little bit more potent. But we get the St. Petersburg in the end. Um, not the best battle, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> but, you know, two, two for two, you know, the cruisers basically swapped each other out. I think the Ashigara, that was very unlucky. Um, very unlucky indeed to lose her. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I was also thinking about a modern battleship class, but I think a cruiser might actually be a better investment at this point. Because we need to replace those. Uh, right, then we have two of the Kojimas. Oh, okay, they're a long way from home. Be our first chance to see these stupidly expensive ships in action. They turn pretty well, look at that. There's the enemy. Had one of those. Oh, it was a dud. Because it kinked. That was lucky. Find our own. I have terrible luck with torpedoes, so I don't expect them to do much, but. You never know. Ho ho! Good job I started turning.
Damn, those things spit out a lot of torpedoes. Some engine damage on it. It's good. And a main gun. Kino, no chance you're actually going to fire those torps, is there? No, of course not. Well, now you fire them. Oh, uh, ooh. Might actually hit. Yeah! Take that, you bastard. <laughs> okay. Well, those um, Kojima-class cruisers, surprisingly not too bad. I mean, they're very expensive for what they do, but they uh, kind, kind, kind of work. <laughs> they kind of work. All right, one more fight, and then let's look into potentially another heavy cruiser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Ties eye against one of those Kronstadt's and some convoys with two shinobis to support. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Straight away. Try and get all the guns firing. He's firing pretty aggressively there. If I get a chance against the transport, so I'll, I'll take it, but probably won't get much of a chance. Was oh, that the heavy cruiser we're obliterating? Good. Kill it before it lays eggs. Disgusting little metal eggs with little whirly bits on the back. I think she has, in fact, already fired torpedoes. Which is very annoying. Yep. Saw a little splash. Characteristic of a dud torpedo. Gotcha. Like rail guns, those things. <laughs> we are taking a lot of damage in return, though. I think I'm too close. We're getting that overflow problem. Can use the secondaries though to uh, evaporate a couple of transports while we're here. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's doing it all through partial pens by the looks of it. Just huge partial pen damage. Kind of, uh, uh, gun, super heavy, cordite, TNT, incendiary shells. Yeah, that'll that'll be it. HE spammer, basically. Just trying to wear the ship down. Explains how she was able to take out the heavy cruisers, because that is a lot of uh, fire that you have to try and repel. And regular crew really, really helps. Couple of pens. Couple more, couple of torpedoes that are going to miss. But she goes down due to extensive fire. Ah, okay. Well, good. Uh, huh. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that all the fights? Or is there one more? I've completely forgotten. Nope, that was all of them. Uh, I do, however, well, I'm going to need to sort my budget, but most of that is due to repairs. We've got quite a lot of repairs going on. Um, yeah, I do, I do want to have a look. Let's go into ship design, new design. So, I think... Yeah, we've got the. So you have to. I've used these two already. Uh, we do have access to these ones, the experimental, the modern three, and the modern four. They can all do about thirty-six knots. These two have very good hull form stats. This one has very good floatability. This one has pretty good resistance. Stability on these two is not good, though. Maybe try one on the experimental. It's not the best hull in the world. Uh, but let's have a look and see if we can make it work. And I'm going to try and follow my own advice. I'm going to start off minimum displacement with standard everything. Okay, let's go oil and diesel. We've got gas turbines now, fancy. Tower-wise. Uh, these ones are, out, without a doubt, better. They are very heavy. I think I might go with the Cruiser Pagoda Tower. Should give me plenty of room. I will need a deck funnel, probably. If I pair it with uh, this tower, I get the big funnel on. No. Hmm. I do have a lot of superstructure space. What happens if I do go with this? Give me a hell of a lot of secondary firepower. And I can go for a double funnel. Two super funnel twos. Just well, actually it's not just just about enough. Um I'm going too fast. 36.5 these things are. Let's just call it 36 even. 
Uh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay, yeah, I think we can make something of this. Gun-wise, it should all be Mark Fives. The 8.9s have been doing good work, but those 11s. <laughs> oh, good lord, they are. That accuracy is tempting. But as I've seen, the, the, the 8.9s are, are pretty darn good. And they look better. So 8.9s might work. Can we fit them back here? What? You mean part? Don't be stupid. Okay, so it's probably going to be triples then. If the game's going to be really weird like that. So this is going to be, yeah, very much a replacement. Um, ship, why wouldn't you fit there? That is so, so weird. Okay, let's make them 8.9s. Lovely stuff. That is fire, right? Yep. Okay. So, secondaries. I don't think it's going to be 4 inch guns up there, although they do fit down there. Interesting. But I think the three inch along like that. Yeah, I don't think the four inch would fit down there anyway. That's uh that's quite a sizable <laughs> AA battery. We'll keep them at three inch, because I've used that elsewhere, but we'll make them big. Casement guns, really? Yeah. Don't think so. We can fit her with torpedo tubes. Uh, underwaters might be a good option. Give me four each side. I, I, I do like the underwaters on uh, heavy cruisers. Just keep, keep them quite clean looking. Got a bit of an aft offset issue, which is not that surprising with this layout. I wonder. No, probably not. They, they would nearly always take that out. Anyway, uh, let's get the protection on the go. All the good stuff. Standard ratio of shells. Ooh, we could get tri triple base now. Wow, we've unlocked a lot of stuff that I just haven't kept up with. And yes, I know I'm 12% overweight. Don't worry about it. We will be fine. Now, um... Bring the depth charge launchers anyway. Let's have a look at you guns. A very good rate of fire. So we can definitely lengthen you a little bit. Whatever you look like at max length. Yeah, deck pen's too low. Oops. Got something like that. 8.952s. Yeah, that's still pretty good. Can we go up to a 55? Come on. Mm, deck pen is pretty anemic at that point. Ready fire is still good, though. Okay, we'll go, go with this. Uh, just going to have to worry about deck pens. Um, soft cap. Oh, yeah, soft cap. That should mean that we can blow up destroyers very easily with these things. Out to about 8,000 metres or so. Which is 
good. Oh, don't be annoying, game. Oh, really? It should fit there. <laughs> it, it bloody well should. Uh, just a moment. There is another way of doing this. I just want to have a look and see if it is possible. I know there will be some people in my comments asking me to try it. Mm, not that one. We've got a tall one. Oh, boo, hiss. Yeah, it doesn't super fire. No super duper firing with the 8.9s. Sad. Even, what about this one? Oh, we can do it on this one. <laughs> okay, it really will be experimental. Uh, can I do it on the s standard? Yep. Can I do it on the... Sure. Yes! Wait, is the short taller than the standard? St it is. Okay, I'll go with go with this one then. But it weighs more and costs more. That's so weird. Okay, we'll go with that one then. Looks weird, but there you go. Super duper firing. 8.9 inch. <laughs> 8.9 inch guns. We finally have a C turret. <laughs> Seems ridiculous. Could this one work? Because that seems overkill. Nope. Just enough kill. <laughs> Does look super weird. But okay. Halfway offset is still a problem. Okay, I'm going to do something slightly controversial. I'm going to take off this funnel and this whole tower. I'm going to go back to the cruiser tower. Uh, cru cruiser pagoda tower. I'm going to get a super funnel 5. And possibly a second super funnel 5. What's my smoke interference with that? Ah, it's not that bad. And then I'm just going to get the little secondary tower. And then... Oh, let me put a gun there, you bastards. Urgh. Wait, can I do something stupid? I can put a barbette there. That's cute. Um... Hmm. I can put a bar bit there. Hmm. It's going to be the goofiest looking cruiser on the planet. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> it is too hideous for words. It does work though, but uh, that does gives me the offset problem. <laughs> There's a reason I was going all forward um and that might let me get four inch it does you can get four inch secondaries on this bad boy uh set there and another one in the middle actually i would let me put them here Can I put a four inch gun on that? Oh, it looks so silly, but yes, I can. <laughs> sort of. Game complains. Mm, let's try a bigger one. Ah, yeah! <laughs> there we go. I'm sure I can fit three in here as well. Give me a moment. One there. 
One there. And one there. Beautiful. Right, that's um, that's a lot more secondary firepower. Again, halfway offset issues, but it's fine. Let's make them... Ah, oh, really? Game, you can do me dirty like this. Oh, now you're fine with it? Okay. Um, <laughs> can they even see out? No, look. The, <laughs> the bridge just looks directly into this turret. Hmm. Well, it's certainly an amusing ship so far. Uh, armoring. Um, yeah, it's no point putting armor on the four-inch guns. I can only put armor on the top. Um... Max out that armor. I'd like at least 10 inch, 10 and 5, 2.5, 2.5, 1.5, 11.6, and then in a let's just see how much we can get away with. Quite a lot. In fact, I'm tempted to up armor her. You might be thinking you can't up armor her. She's she's underweight. Yes, but I still have plenty of displacement to play around with. Um, because I'm designing her on a minimum displacement hull, which is the advantage of doing this. Now I can only get 5.6 top armor and 11.6 on the sides of the ship. But uh, let's. Let's go for a slightly unusual scheme. Let's go for matching the turret. Five point six, five point six, two point eight, and two point eight. There we go, and increase our inner layering. Much as we can. Did that the wrong way around. That's stupid of me. There we go. I think that's pretty well protected. Um, right, let's increase our displacement until the ship changes size, which is the other way I could have managed this, but I kind of want to keep her displacement relatively low because she's already insanely expensive, uh, which is just something you have to deal with when you're building late game sh late game ships um but that's really not bad range is okay um we've got a couple of hundred tons but probably not able to add anything too useful um I don't think I can get another pipper range, can I, in it? Spacious crew quarters? No. Mini bulk kids? No. But there we go. The Yoko class. Uh, very experimental. <laughs> She's a bit ridiculous. But, for the battles we've been fighting... Potentially quite useful because she can chase fairly effectively. She's fast as well. Much faster than the, the Meiji or the Miyoko. She's six knots faster than either of our existing heavy cruisers. She's a knot faster than the Taizais. She's faster than the Kojimas. She can... Almost keep up with the Hamakazis. She can outpace a Shinobi. Yeah. Very fast. Very aggressive ship designed for, well, chasing down fleeing enemies in particular. Um, but that halfway offset I've just noticed is really bad. Um, right, we'll need to do some... Fire... 
fine tuning in that case. Should be able to get a fair bit by moving the engine space. I'll put those back in a minute. Only go there. And then one, two, three. Okay, it's down to 6.6, .6, uh, which I'll have to do just by moving this out. Oh, no, wait, there's another way. Uh, off, wait, offset. Take off some torpedoes. Shit. Yeah, that one doesn't make any difference. But I might as well take them all off at this point. Because uh, they're not really giving me that much. Really? Really? Have to push it all the way out to here? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Looks ugly as shit. <laughs> oh, my, I, I actually really don't like this now. Like, it's a good idea. I just... I just, just don't like that. At all. Aha! Uh -huh. See, now I can get a gun back here. And we don't have the weight offset issue nearly as badly. Won't have as many of the 4-inch guns, but... No, maybe I can fit an extra pair in here. Mm, no. Well, I might be able to get one in here firing over the top. Sure, that's legit. <laughs> that's legit. Um, okay, and then I only have an halfway to offset of 3.4. Uh, no, I'm going to get rid of that. Because I think I can, I can just pull this one back to about here. I can actually pull this back, which gives me weight back. Ah, oh, no, no, I know the super duper firing, but I think this is superior um, in terms of what I'm actually getting. Uh, because I think we can get can we get many buckets in? No. I could get I could get two pips of range though. Two pips of range. That's that's pretty good. Thirty six thousand kilometers is a lot. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather have the extra range than the super duper firing gun. She's still very fast. She can still do all that hunting and stuff. I know she looks a little bit more conventional now, but sorry, <laughs> the unconventional one can live on in your in your in your hearts and in your dreams. Um, yeah, I think this I think this will do. Nicely. Hmm. The only other thing would be trying to put the torpedoes back on. Uh, 
No. Uh, I think Torpedo Ellis. Yeah, we'll get two of these for now. But we'll just use them to replace our heavy any more heavy cruiser losses that we have. So I'll save that. take actually 17 months the only other thing was i was thinking about a potential 15 inch armed ship sort of a halfway house oh wait we're getting the mark 5 14 inch guns in a month okay well um let's just end the turn uh so when i get the mark 5 15 inch guns i've been thinking what we would really like is a ship a heavy, sh heavily protected ship that is fast and has big guns. Because we've got those 12 inch gun cruiser killers that are very effective. We've got the Yamatos and the Nagatos and the Fuso Isays. None, none of those are particularly fast. And yeah, we've got the Quangos, but they're not particularly fast either. So basically, it would be like a modern. Like, we've got our modern battleship. That's the Yamato. We don't really have a modern battle cruiser. And I think the 15-inch gun would be a nice weapon system to use for that. Because we're very close to getting the 15-inch Mark V. We're just about to get the 14-inch Mark V. If we have 15-inch Mark Vs... Hmm. Yeah, that could that could work. Okay, uh, Russia refuses to surrender. Uh, no. Yes, that's what we want. Uh, there's a convoy battle. Uh, that's just a boring one. I'll, I'll do that off screen as well. Uh, however, what I can do is I can do the refits of the Fisays and the Quangos. So let's do the Fisays first. So they'd be going from Mark 3 to Mark 5 14 inch guns. Um, which probably means they're not going to fit. Nope. <laughs> I was worried about that because they are noticeably bigger. These 14 inch 55 default caliber. Um... I'm just going to go through and sort the components first. Let's swap them to diesels, which will make them much longer ranged and more useful. Uh, have these already had a little refit? Yeah, they must have done. I've just forgotten that I did that. Okay, let's go for the default length. Oops, Daisy. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Yeah, it could actually make the four inch guns a bit longer. Right, these things, by default, 14 inch 56 caliber guns. They've got a great rate of fire. I'm, I'm tempted to see what happens if we embiggen them. Deck pen's still okay. And they get. That's pretty good. We'll go for a 60. Rather than the 61. 60s. Yes. That just under two rounds of rounds a minute. Okay, that'll have to come off. Because uh, we're going to need... Well, medium four work. Was, was that what I had before? Oh, wow. The game is chugging a bit just now. Oh, I think that did actually fit. It did. Okay. So I know I am moving some components around. So our 
weights are probably going to need fix. I'm not sure I can keep the arrangement. It's the only thing. These might need a more radical refit. Do I get any new towers? Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. Well, if we're going for a radical refit, we might as well do a radical refit. I can get the advanced pagoda tower. Hmm. Yes, please. That's a significant jump. Do I get more funnels? Yeah, I got the mega funnel complex. Now, these things originally... Oh, there was another turret. So, they, these originally had one, two, three, four, five, six twin turrets. They had 12 guns. But I think rather than going for six twins, I'm going to go for four triples. So I'm going to grab a 14-inch triple. Should still be a 60. Yeah. Because that means I don't have to worry about this or this. Um... <laughs> And sorry if you're a purist. I know I'm ruining everything doing this. Um, yeah, we've got a massive forward way offset. For now. But I think I can also dramatically shorten their citadels. Uh, two, two, what? It's a it's a brand new barbet. How is it too far from a previous place? Okay, I'm not doing that cunning plan then. Too far from previous place. I can get it to there though. Continue with the attempted citadel shortening. This looks a bit weird. See, what I wanted to do was try and move this gun here, but uh, yeah, it's not. It's not. Not letting me. Now let me put a small barbet in. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, this thing had two inch guns everywhere, didn't it? Complaining about uh, genuinely. What are you complaining about? There we go. Uh, they actually fit just slapper. No, they're too big. Hmm. Oh well. I guess the guns are getting decent feel the fire. Uh, I've got over weight though, which is. Uh, Slight issue. Again, that was partly why I wanted to move this. It's really annoying it won't let me do that. Hmm. You sure you don't want to let me? Oh, hang on. There's another way of doing it. Let's put that there. Hmm. 
pretty bad field of fire and four way offset is an issue. Let's try swapping it. Yeah. Even weirder. <laughs> uh, Japan. Just messing around. Oh wait, halfway offset. So that's the opposite of what I want to be doing. Why did I assume I would have a forward weight offset? Still overweight, but it's only 1%. And the half weight offset is only 2.7%. And yeah, we eliminate this. So it saves us a fair amount. Um, trying to think how I might get that back. Wait, was it using balanced diesels? It was. Okay, that gets me a lot closer. Um, two, 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 right. Come on, there must be a way of getting just, what is it? Oh, not even 100 tons, more like 50. 50 tons off. Hmm. Uh, get a Kudridge's range, a pip. Still better than it was before. Uh, yeah, there we go. Go for it. <laughs> Pretty extreme refit, as it happens. Going from one, two curates, two Q turrets to one, and eliminating uh, Y turret completely. But without it letting me put this on a barbet, I think I think that is a a good compromise. It doesn't look as nice, but. Uh, I think it will be a hell of a lot more effective. Those guns should absolutely pack a wallop. And now I kind of know what I want to do with them. Let's have a look at the Quangos. So let's refit them to the new standard. Shouldn't there be four of them? One of them repairing. Yes. Well, eight months. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, um, they'll be out of commission for a bit. And then let's have a look at the Wongo. Because this should take them from mediocre to pretty darn good. So this thing has 10 guns currently. So I prefer not to do anything quite as extreme. I think was it 9 plus 9 on the Uh, guns to make them 60s? Or was it a plus 8? That was a plus 8. Okay. <laughs> right. We do have a little bit of an halfway offset, which is unfortunate. So at the moment, I'm not helping matters. But we're going to have to push this out the front.
and there we go. That is much less <laughs> extreme. Uh, I wonder if I can get it to work. Do I have any new towers? No, I could go up to the five. And I could go from the tall... Yeah, I could go up like one. Uh, so it's not like I have access to some fantastic new... What? Why have the guns got the wrong armor thickness on? Glad I spotted that. Uh, everything else has probably already been updated, hasn't it? Yeah, apart from switching to diesels, which helps enormously, uh, although it will make the cost absolutely skyrocket. Uh, and then we just need to sort out that little forward weight offset issue. So let's move this back a bit. Shift this just a touch. Zero point four. Zero point one. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't actually like that bar bit on that gun. So I'm going to replace it. It's purely aesthetics. Shouldn't add, add too much time or cost. I just think it looks just that little bit better. And there we go. That's 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 it. Uh, at 99%. I don't think I can get anything else in. On this refit. Uh, nope. No, that's going to be it. Uh, however, these will only take a month to do, um, which is pretty good, and be back in service pretty, pretty sharpish. But those new guns should be an order of magnitude more deadly. I mean, destroyer exploding is going out to 20,000 meters. Now, so we should be able to completely obliterate destroyers. Deck pen looks good. Muzzle velocity about eight hundred. That seems a little bit, a little bit better. That's like double <laughs> what it was pre pre patch and pre refit. Okay, we'll save that. We'll get the Quangos upgrading. I'll sort my budget, and then I shall end. The episode. <laughs> Quongo nineteen forty two refit. Again, I thought there were four of them. Quongo nineteen forty. Really? Uh, Haruna. Ah, oh, she's repairing. Okay. Fair enough. Now I just need to sort out my budget because that's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, I don't mind spending a little bit, but spending that much is a. No, oh, do you know what? It's not going to change anything, is it? I just, just, I'll just eat the money. It's mostly on. Uh, it's mostly on. Repairs anyway. Got a whole bunch of very expensive ships being repaired, and then yeah, we've got a whole got all the uh, the Hamakazi still being refitted after the game deleted their refit components. Um, yeah, we've got all the all of these things refitting as well. Uh, the the Fisés is a pretty expensive refit as well. But yeah, other than that, we're looking okay. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Bit of bit of building, um, bit of refitting, bit of fighting, and I'll see you again in the next episode. But don't expect to see this battle because this one will be done off screen, where I'm just gonna 
probably that's probably a ghost battle, but um, we shall see. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.